back. We're so happy to welcome our friend John Marsh from Brick and Mortar Coffee. Good morning. Morning. Thank you for coming in. <laughs> morning. So happy to be here. I, well, we're excited about what you've got in store for us today because we get to sample some brand new things. Coffee and alcohol at the same time. I'm in. Hey, you had me at coffee and alcohol. Yeah, yeah. So, John, tell us about what, what you brought for us today. So, what I brought today is Mother's Winter Grind, which is their kind of locally super famous coffee stout that they do every year. Mm -hmm. And we're super proud to be the coffee in this year's Winter Grind. So, I've brought some of that for us to sample this morning. How amazing is that? How, how did this collaboration begin? So we just, we're just friends with some of the guys over at Mother's and they were looking for a new coffee supplier and that's what we do. So they gave us a ring and we, we built a coffee blend for them specifically designed to mm -hmm. pair with what they're up to on the beer side of things. And uh, now that's what's in Wintergrind. Yeah, I love it. And we always talk about how cool and important local collaborations are and this is local on local, as good as it gets. What does it mean to you to be able to kind of be involved in, like you said, this very iconic beer here in the Ozarks? It's a huge honor for us. I mean, Mother's is super iconic. Their crew is seriously world-class and they've been really, really fun to work with. It's great as someone who's in an industry that's all about tasting to work with someone in a, in a different, but like overlapping industry sure. and really be able to work together to build something really cool with two really big local brands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love it. Do that. you mind if I um, start pouring some beer for us? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm, listen, if we're going to have it in front of us, we've got to taste it, y'all. Hey, there Come you go. Here. I'll just... here we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. John, can you... Um... Oh, well, I was going to pour everybody's down oh, here. Well, That's okay. okay. Well, then, I'll just move back here then. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, get back in your seat. John, can you kind of take us very, you know, just briefly through kind of your history, how you got into coffee, and, you know, why you wanted to start brick and mortar? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my background was actually working in, in politics and real estate, and I just got the opportunity to, to buy the coffee shop. It had kind of been my, my second job through college and everything. Really fell in love with coffee through that process. Sort of learned every piece of the business. Particularly once I took over the roasting, I was like, man, this is so cool. It would be rad if I got to do this for a living. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, being able to take different beans from different origins, blend them together, roast them to really maximize the flavor that's inherent to the coffee the farmer grew mm. is just really fun and exciting for me. And then to be able to take that process and combine it with other cool projects that people are working on, like like Winter Grind, is yeah. just so fun. No, I love this. This is and amazing, by the way. Yeah, it's this so good. This is so good. And you can yeah. taste the, the beer and the coffee. Yeah. That's that, why I like you can taste the two yeah. flavors. I like your big we are, yeah, we're I really proud of it. Like, I think the, the coffee brings a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, and we don't have any of those like bittering flavors that sometimes you get with coffee yeah. that's been over roasted. So I think I think they complement each other really well. As coffee stouts go, if you're a little leery about drinking a coffee stout, this is very easy drinking. Yeah. So it's not one that's gonna kick you in the teeth after having one. Well, yeah, and I was gonna say too, I feel like for beer drinkers out there, everyone has the kind that they like. And more specifically, I think a lot of people are scared of dark beer. Like my wife's favorite beer in the world is a Guinness, but most people do not feel that way. Yeah. And this is a great starter, like you said. I think if you started with this, you could probably drink Guinness eventually if you don't like that right now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think this sure. is a great leeway in, if you will. So you get that coffee without the really big bittering flavors and so Easy yes. for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously you have your your shop. You guys also do a lot of distribution um, and you know, kind of selling your beans. So tell people where they could get your beans if they don't um, have the opportunity to see your shop all the time. That's right, and that's actually what made this partnership with Mothers really good is that they're they're doing the same thing with beer. So we're able to kind of overlap in, in our distribution and and get these great products to people where they're at. Uh, we're both in Walmart, hy V. Um, we're in Mama Jeans kind of all over the place. Or of course you can come to Mother's Tap Room or to our, our shop and, mm -hmm. and try some stuff that way. Yeah. Where can people buy this? Tap Rooms all across the area are gonna have it right now. Um, I know you can get it at Price Cutter, like a lot of your little local grocery stores are gonna mm -hmm. have it. Um, and then of course if you go to Mother's, they'll have it at the Tap Room. Yeah, yeah. Patty, what do you think? Question, I'm actually really liking it because I, I like was gonna too. say, John, I'm not a beer drinker whatsoever. We're and converting is, you. I know, I <laughs> am being converted and I'm, an, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's not like I'm like, mm, resist. So um, I was gonna say, what is kind of your favorite part of being a business owner and you know working with local companies? Yeah, that's the really unique thing we get to do at Brick and Mortars. We get to work with other local brands. We work with other coffee shops in town. We work with you know breweries, we restaurants, churches, kind of any wholesale coffee application you can think of. So it's really cool to be able to build relationships with those people and build a solution for them for whatever their particular coffee project mm -hmm. is. And coffee just makes your day better. So Couldn't that's a big part of what we're up to is. Yeah making everybody's morning work for them. Yeah, well this is very tasty. Very yeah. tasty, yeah. like I don't like beer usually. I'm not a beer drinker, I should yeah, say. Yeah, for sure. If I'm out and about and you know, it's cold and we have, but it's not like I would go out, I would buy this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would. I would buy this, this is so good. And like you said, it would ease you into, 
even other beers. Wow, I love yeah, this Yeah, so I think it's great. Okay, so your shop, people want to come visit you mm, um, and kind of get to know you guys more. Where are you located? Kind of what can they expect when they walk in? So we're at 1666 East St. Louis Street yeah. uh, over by the old Rail Haven Motel on the corner of St. Louis and Glenstone. So if they come over there, what they can expect is our, is our coffee shop. We run a bit more of a limited menu, but we've got everything from sort of your common favorites. If you come in, we're going to make you a great vanilla latte, yeah. or we can make you a <laughs> pour over and nerd out on the specifics of coffee and coffee roasting. So I love that. All right, people want to get connected with you. How do they go about doing that? We're on Instagram, Facebook, at Brick and Mortar Coffee. I'm here we're on TikTok. I don't know. <laughs> social media manager. You might be. We'll figure it out. <laughs> but, All right, well, cheers, John. Yes, John, thank, thank you, you so much. This is so tasty. All right, you guys, we're going to try Grandma Carol's potato soup after this. It's been cooking for three hours. Jeremy, it better be good. <laughs>